morning. Um, happy New Year and a happy new month to you too. Um, I'm grateful to God that we made it together into the new year and I look forward to more exploits, more impact, more growth in the world, more growth in the things of the spirit in this new year. Um, I would again want to share God's word with you, uh, like us about our heads as we pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the privilege of fellowship. We exalt your name for uh, the gift of life, for the gift of salvation, for the gift of a new year. We ask Heavenly Father that we, as we look into your word, that the light of your word will flood our hearts, there will be confusion, no darkness in this atmosphere. Only your light will abound in the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, so our topic this morning is the leading of the spirit. Uh, uh, it's quite essential that we get to understand the leadership, the leadership of the Holy Spirit, the leading of the spirit in this new year. Because there are many things we would have to do, and we can't actually do them by our human understanding. We would have to walk by the leading of the spirit. It's uh, it's a subject that should be emphasized consistently amongst believers because of. Uh, there are many believers who don't understand that God seeks to lead them in everything that concerns them. So this morning, we will begin our series on the leading of the Spirit, and we hope to do two three series uh, on this subject. Uh, so we're looking at uh, John chapter 10, verse 2. We begin with John chapter 10, verse 2. Remember, our culture here is to explain biblical concepts from the standpoint of of scripture so our first scripture is john chapter 10 verse 2 it says but he that entered in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep verse 3 to him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice and he calleth his own sheep by name and leadeth them out verse 4 and when he putteth forth his own sheep he goeth before them and the sheep follow him for they know his Voice. Verse 5, take note of that, they know, they know his voice. Verse 5, and a stranger would they not follow, but would flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. Okay, so this, this was a parable that Jesus used to describe his relationship with his sheep. And the sheep here are those who would later come to believe the gospel. And the, 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 the emphasis laid here is the communication that exists between him and his sheep, the bond that exists between him and his sheep. And he emphatically says here that one of the ways he builds relationship and a bond with his sheep is to communicate with them. The communication is so intense that the sheep are expected to know his voice already. Praise the Lord. So he said they know him and they know his voice. They will not follow a stranger because they know when he's speaking. So the believer who is the sheep here knows when God is speaking. He knows when God is speaking. Philemon chapter 1 verse 6. Philemon chapter 1 verse 6. Philemon 1 verse 6. The Bible says, that the communication of that faith may become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you in Christ. You know? So the, the leading of the Spirit is already in you know, us from what we just saw in John chapter 2, 10, verse 2 to 5. We already have the leading of the Spirit because it is what He gives. It is not something we, we press on to receive. It's something He has already given. It's one of the intrinsic factors of His relationship with us. Now we are to acknowledge this in our acknowledging of this the communication of our faith, the faith that we have, the leading of the Spirit, the communication of that faith, you know, becomes effectual when we acknowledge it. So we don't seek for the leading of the Spirit. We already have it in Christ Jesus. And so the believer is expected actually to open up to the possibilities that are in Christ. You know, oftentimes we reduce and minimize the possibility in Christ to certain factors they know. But there is much more in Christ that we need to have access to. And one of the most important factors is the leading of the Spirit. We have that already in Christ because it is what forms the foundation of our relationship with Him. And whatever God says, He has provided. He has already provided. It's not something that would happen. It's something we already have. 
No, uh, like I said earlier, this subject is actually very important because we have a lot of people who are moving too far, too slow. Some of them are not even going anywhere. They don't know what God's will is for their life. They don't know what God is saying part time, even though God is yet speaking. But they don't understand that He is the one ministering to them. Praise the Lord. So this subject becomes very important, you know, to be able to to move in the leading of the Spirit, to be able to move in the will of God. Praise the Lord. Now, one of the ways uh, we get to understand the voice of God, one of the ways we get to understand that this is God speaking, is when we have come to understand the love of God. The love of God is one key enabling factor of our understanding the leading of the Spirit. Because the leading of the Spirit of God is born out of His love for us. I mean, we saw that in John chapter 10, from verse 1 actually, you will see that He said that He is the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd, He is a Good Shepherd not because of His statue or His physique. He is a Good Shepherd because of His character of love. His heart goes out for His sheep. His heart goes out for those in His fold. And because of that passion for those in His fold, he leads them. He leads them. He leads them in the way they would go. He makes sure he provides and nurtures them. He feeds them and makes sure they grow. And this is born out of his character of love. So his character of love necessitates his communication with those in his home. So when we understand the love of God, we will get to understand when he is speaking. So everything, because everything he says to us will be born out of his love. For us now, by uh, the next session, we'll talk more on how to know when God is speaking, how to know which voice is of God. We'll talk more of that on that story in our next session. For now, uh, thank you for listening. I'd like to pray with you, Father. Thank you for your word. Thank you for the things that you said to us this morning. Thank you for bringing us to the consciousness that your need and seeks us. Thank you for bringing us to the understanding that you desire to communicate to us that you perform a bond with us. We thank you for we have received that already in Christ Jesus. We ask the Heavenly Father these things we've heard this morning that your spirit will grant us light, will grant us understanding the more in the name of Jesus. Thank you very much for watching us. Thank you. We hope we blessed you this morning. And once again, Happy New Year. And welcome to a new month. I look forward to having you around in our next session. God bless you.